it took three refreshes of this page to get it to work. Alright, hang on a sec. <clears throat> I've not recorded a video in ages, so um, you know, if it, if um, if I seem a bit off, that would be why. Also, because my headphones are so quiet, like because uh, my normal headphones are broken, so uh, about that. Yeah, um, they're a bit broken, so they make everything really quiet. And then, like, I get back, and it's like really loud. So anyway, um, welcome back to uh, Papa's cold doggeria. Oh wait, no, I mean hot doggeria. Uh, damn, I almost gave away the uh, the secret that our hot dogs are actually not cooked; they're actually raw. Well, I mean, everybody already knew that, but they're actually frozen. Like, the, our hot dogs are frozen. Our, our burgers weren't, but the hot dogs are frozen. Like, we didn't defrost them. Uh, they've been... They're literally just cold, hard hot dogs. Um, and no... Like, everybody eats them anyway. They're such idiots. How long have you been standing there? <laughs> anyway. Uh, okay, so basically, uh, I don't actually have any um, notes or anything. I just thought I'd do a video where I just randomly talk about, like, school memories for no reason. We've done this, like, every episode. <laughs> Well, not every episode, it's like, it's ever since Burgeria, every episode has been something to do with either school memories or stuff that's illegal. I have no idea why. Like, we always talk about silly laws or school memories, but I usually have, like, a piece of paper with, like, jokes and stuff that I can mention. But, like, I don't have any because I used them all last episode. Well, the last two episodes because they were recorded on the same day, I believe. It has actually um, been, like, maybe... I don't know how long it's been, I've been since I recorded. Since a long, it's a long, it's been such a long time. Like Jesus, maybe like I want to say a month, maybe like three weeks. It's definitely weird to be uh, to, <laughs> to be back doing this. I'll tell you that much. But anyway, um, here you're not getting any, you're not getting any drink. I don't care. Turn it on to your light. Don't you wag your finger at me, or I'll be cutting it off, mate. I, ha I have the means to do that. No, oh, it's Robbie the Pirate. He's back again. So anyway, um, I definitely remember this one time where um, they had scaffolding on the school. They were fixing the uh, the sixth form area of the school. Uh, this is a secondary, by the way. And uh, they were dropping like these things, like these, I think they were tiles off the roof, uh, into this bin that was down below. Well, not really a bin, it was actually a skip technically. But um, they dropped one a bit too far. Well, not too far, but they didn't do like enough. And basically what happened was um, it landed on the other side of the fence and this guy just went, I could have died! And there's like a bunch of people were like shouting stuff at them for some reason. Like, they didn't actually hit anybody, they weren't even that close. But somebody was, somebody was like 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 10 feet away was like, I could have died. But anyway, yeah, um, <laughs> I don't know. I think it's the way you said it, to be honest. Just, I could have died. But anyway, uh, wait, nope, get in there. <laughs> I don't know. I remember um, this one time where um, the sixth formers, it was on the last day and they all, they all came to school in like fancy dress. I saw loads of Scooby-Doo's, I saw loads of Mario's and Luigi's, I saw a few minions, and I saw somebody dressed as a banana, I was like, okay, fair enough. That's bananas, no, okay. But anyway, seriously though, it was kind of funny. I also remember this uh, this one time in, it was year four, I think it was, was it year three or four, I don't remember. But we had this teacher who everybody hated and... Um, like, do, does anybody remember line guides? Did, did you ever have to use those? It's like this piece of paper that you put under the paper in the book so that you write in a line. It's so stupid. It's like nobody nobody likes them. Nobody used them anyway, unless they were false to. But anyway, basically, um, I wasn't using one because I forgot to use it. And uh, the teacher, right, I didn't know that she was there because nobody actually mentioned that she was standing there. And she came up behind me and just went, line guide, like really, really loud in my ear. Like, for no reason. I was like, Jesus, trying to deafen me? There was also uh, a very similar occurrence a few years later uh, at secondary school. So, uh, we're in DT, right? And basically, my DT group is pretty much made of... All, pretty much everybody in the group is somebody I don't like. I have, like, two, three, maybe four friends. It's like most of uh, the... Most of the gang... Well, not really a gang, but, like, a group that I... I used to have a group I hang... Uh, used to have a group of friends I used to hang out with. And um, basically, it was like... Most of them were not in the group. There were about four of us. The group consisted of maybe about seven, let me think about seven people or something. About four of us were in the group, uh, not including myself. Uh, I'm not going to count myself here. So there were four of them in the group, I believe. Uh, yeah, yeah. No, no, wait, no, 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 no. There were five. There were five of us in there, not counting me. But anyway, um, so anyway, they all they all um got paired together because it was like a um. 
I, I don't think one of them was there that day. But like, like I didn't get to be on the same table because it was four people a table. One of them was absent, and then like all four of them went onto a table, and I was like, well, damn, now what? And um, I was gonna try and like cop a table of my own where I'm alone, so I don't have to talk to anybody. But of course, there were none. So um, there were <clears throat> there were a few tables. Um, I didn't really like anybody on them. Like the, the the by the time it was done, there was like one left, and literally everybody on that table hated me. So it was like, oh yeah, that's gonna work. So um, the teacher was like, right, work there, right? And I was like, well, how am I supposed to? I don't get along with these people. Work there, like you're so slowly going more, <laughs> you know, uh, slowly getting more insane with like every single time I reject it. It's like go sit, go and work over there. But I don't get along with work over there. Will you let me finish. I don't get along with this people. Work there, like yells really loud in my face. Everybody stops. It's like, why does he think that yelling in my face is going to make it any better? Like, really, if anything, that's just going to make things worse. What an idiot. And also, right, what I've understood is, um, you know, we did PE, right? So, everybody already knows the deal. The uh, the school PE kids are always, like, dirty and never washed and stuff. Um, yeah, ours smelled like pee and were suspiciously damp. Yeah, it, it could have just been sweat, but still, it's still pretty bad. Like, do you really expect me to wear anything? And not only that, right, but we used to have, like, these aprons that we used if we were playing, like, football or whatever. There's an aprons team. And they never fit me. <laughs> I was massive. Well, I wasn't that big. I wasn't that big, but I was a bit, like... I was a bit bigger than, you know, everybody else. And, um, like, they never fit me, so I just had to put them on my neck. But seriously, though, those also smelled like pee. Like, really, I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure one of them had, like, a blood stain on it as well. It's like, why do they never wash them? It's like, are they trying to give us some sort of disease? It's like, it's probably got the sweat of, like, the previous seven people who have worn it. It's like, guys, come on. Do a better job, please. Like, it's supposed to be teachers, and you're giving us, like, these that spell like pee and are suspiciously damp. That's totally not suspicious of anything. Also, that Olympic gold medal is not a gold medal, it's actually a chocolate coin, isn't it? I guarantee you that is the actual law, definitely. <laughs> As if this game is actually have any law. I don't think they do. <laughs> I don't think they even they don't even have a timeline, really. Um, maybe if, the, if there is, it probably goes from, from Pizzeria to whatever the latest game was, which I'm not sure. I don't think it was this one, though. I don't know what the, uh, what the latest game is. Okay, what's this going? Burgerzilla. <laughs> okay, I need to see what this is. Oh, I have to stack a burger really high. God damn it. Um, yeah, this is uh, definitely a thing. That cheese was not in burglary, uh, lies. Oh god. Um, okay, it's interesting how the uh, the stuff doesn't flop. There we go. Ta-da. <laughs> it's so weird seeing my character like that. <laughs> the leaning tower of burgers. Sizzlers, totally not sponsored by them, right? <laughs> It'd be really funny if you could actually get sponsored by like an in-game, um, like if your your uh, restaurant could get sponsored by an in-game, uh, an in-game company, you know, like the Sizzlers, for example, or whatever the baseball team this guy supports is. I don't know. Are there, are there really hot dogs all the time at baseball games? I'd imagine so. Like every single cartoon that I've ever seen one on just so happens to be full of hot dogs all over the place, every single time. The distant relative of Johnny Vincent in the. Uh, Bottom left corner, Johnny Vincent from Bully, that is, because no doubt there's probably a celebrity called Johnny Vincent, and that would have been an insult. Guaranteed. Anyway, I don't know. There's probably plenty of times I've accidentally insulted people in my videos, eventually one day. I don't know. Like, seriously though, I've never, uh, hang on a second. Okay, so, uh, what else? Um, I definitely remember this one time where, um, like... This is this was definitely something because um, we went to this thing called Stu I think it was Study United or something along those lines, and it was like I wasn't even a big football fan anyway, but it was still fun to go to. But anyway, uh, basically we were getting on this bus. We were getting on the bus, and I sat at the back because I got on first, luckily, because that's my first time sitting in the back. And uh, I was just staring out the window like I usually do. This was before we left school, by the way, before we left the grounds, and. Um, this is interesting because I was looking in, like, in the window. 
I saw like this figure and it wasn't like a teacher or anything it was like some hooded monk or something and I didn't see any face because like it was pushing something and it looked in my it looked at me there, there was nothing it, it was just black where the face would be kind of like um kind of like how you would expect them to look if you get what I mean like you don't see any face you just see the hood right so I thought maybe it was like a mother maybe like pushing a pram on the other side so I looked and then I looked back and it was gone I don't know what it was I have no idea and still still to this day it still puzzles me I'm like what the hell was that <laughs> every now and again it pops up and I'm like what? wait <laughs> what did I see that day I don't know that's probably an, an easy explanation for it it could have just been one of the dinner ladies like with the uh, really dirty glass on the on the windows and it could have been anything really but yeah you never know it depends what you believe in anyway um what else I'm trying to think of primary school members mostly because we've we've gone through all the uh, the secondary members previously in uh, episodes of Burgeria and stuff. Granted, the episodes of Burgeria were like last year or something, but whatever. Um, <laughs> so there, there's that. What else is there to say? Not really. Not really that much. I remember there was this one time where um, I looked up Sonic Two cheats in Golden Time. In Golden Time, we had like this computer club. But my problem was that you could only go to it, like, once. Like, like you, 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 ha you can't go to the same club you were in last term. And the way the teacher said it still annoys me to this day. You can't do what you did last term. It's like, why do you have to say it like that? So, basically, I had real issue getting into any good clubs until they announced a new club. It was in the uh, Year 6 classroom, and you could bring in your handheld gaming systems and play them. So whether you've got a DS or some form of Game Boy or a PSP. I usually brought in the DS with Mario. Uh, it was Mario 64. I remember I actually completed Mario 64 DS for the first time at school. I also brought my Game Boy a few times and I've, I've played Sonic 3, not Sonic 3, sorry, Mario 3 uh, for the Game Boy. A Game Boy Advance because there is one that's Mario Advance 4. But I believe, for some reason, I remember the, the first time I got to the uh, the final boss of Crash Entrance, do you know Entropy? I'm pretty sure, I, I seem to remember fighting him in like the corridors, I think I beat him there too. That was the first time I ever beat him, and it was at school, funnily enough. So, I, the first time I completed two games, Mario 64 DS and Crash Entrance were both at school, funnily enough. So there's that. And then there was this one time where I got into trouble for um, being rude to somebody, but they, that person was always rude to me, so I, it was justified. Like they were like, "Oh, can I help you?" And I was like, "Why would I need your help? Why would I need help from you?" And the teacher heard me and got very mad, and I was told to sit down. It's like, why did I get into trouble for that? Like she's always rude to me. Why can't I be rude back? I remember there was also this one time when I was really young. I, I believe I was in like year two or something, and we, we were doing like like this thing where every week. I think it was something to do with geography. We we like the teacher would bring in foods from different like different countries, stuff like China and America and stuff like that. And um, I remember around China. I think it was China. It was either China or it was ramen. It was a bunch of rice, I believe. Uh, one of the two. Not ramen. Why did I say ramen? Ramen is noodles. Yeah, it was it was one of the Asian countries. I don't remember which one it was. They just gave us a bunch of rice. Um, and the the catch is we had to use chopsticks, and I could not do it. So <laughs> I couldn't. I couldn't do it. I don't know why it's so funny. I just remember myself just fumbling around with the chopsticks. They're probably a lot easier to use than I remember, but still. And um, I remember from America, they brought she brought in like a bunch of pancakes with syrup on them. And when we were done, I asked if we could have some more, and I was like, she was like, "You're greedy," and I was told to sit on the floor. So stupid, isn't it? I remember, um, you know the one I, I usually refer to as traitor? Um, we had this uh, shelter at um, our primary school for the walkway because we used to get soaking wet when it rained. When it rained. So I thought they'd build a shelter. It was basically uh, plastic, really. Like, it wasn't even glass, it was just plastic. And basically, traitor would always, like, pick up stuff and throw it on the shelter. It would either be sand, like, a rock, like a stone or something. I remember at one point, he picked up a drain cover. Like, there's, a, there's a drain cover, it wasn't over the drain at all, so that was definitely a health hazard. But he picked up the uh, the separate drain cover and threw it on the shelter and ran away. It didn't break either. It was a pretty sturdy shelter. You have to give him that. But yeah, it was kind of funny, because uh, at one point, he actually picked up this, like, this massive log. And he threw that on it as well. Like, nobody, nobody really seemed to notice. Except the teachers who got really mad. I remember one point I was um, 
the, I don't remember what the, I don't quite remember what the quote was, but it was something from Nativity. Like it was something you kept hearing at the end of the um, at the end of the trailer. If you remember the trailer for that, but anyway, um, before we left, I heard him say that to the teacher, and then like I was talking, like, I didn't realize I was talking to myself because I thought he was there. I turned around, I was like, wait, hang on a second. I looked back and I realized he was still inside the school. And like the teacher was yelling at him, like you know, you know how they like continuously point their fingers at you when they're telling you off. They were doing that, and her face was like really red, and I was just sat there laughing. And then he came out, and I was like, "What happened?" <laughs> I don't know. It's like, also, might I remind you, right? This this is um something I should mention. This school right, had this teacher. I think her name was Miss Hall or something. She would usually be the one who did like the uh, the Thursday um singing assemblies or whatever. She'd all sing and play the piano and stuff. But anyway, uh, this teacher actually, actually got on this teacher's good side. So anyway, this teacher was usually known as the scariest teacher in the school, unless you were on her good side, which was also kind of something similar to a history teacher I had at secondary. She she definitely reminded me of her in several ways. But yeah, so uh, I got on this teacher's good side and um, my brother did not. Like, uh, for some reason, right, she's really not actually all that scary unless she's angry. So what do they think they should do, right? He was in year two. So what should we do to year twos who misbehave? Hmm. How about this? How about we send them to the scariest teacher in the school? Because that'll show them. There was a, this was this actually was also the same school that totally straight up plagiarized the Bass Street Kids. Like, for anybody who's ever seen the Beano before, it's definitely, uh... It's a very old co comic at this point, it's like 80 years old. But anyway, um, there's this strip called The Bass Street Kids, which is also set in a school, funnily enough. And um, basically what the school did was they took these characters, got the, like, like, like they got the official artwork of Google or something, and changed it so that they were holding vegetables and stuff. And then for Fatty, obviously that would cause problems, so they, they just ne nicknamed him, they changed his name to Batty very badly with a pen, like you can clearly see. And everybody was so oblivious, I was like, guys, his name is Fatty, I read the Beano, like, I just stop lying, yeah, you know. Like, you know what it's like. I was like, are you kidding me? Oh look, it's uh, Wii Sports. God damn it. What do you mean, foul? Yeah. Home run. That's the hot dog over over there. What is the other one? I don't see, I don't know. I'm not sure. I can't see what it says. Papa, I don't know. It's too, it's too blurred to see anything. Home run. Buffalo's poster. Oh, wait a second. Look in the top right. Prize is earned. Foul ball. Fa strike. Foul ball. God damn it. Um, alright then, well I have plenty of tickets, so I can just keep doing- I, I like how the picture is different every single time. Foul ball. Foul ball. Foul ball. <laughs> God's sake. I can't get the timing down. I'm trying to win all the prizes. It's a different guy this time. Foul ball. <laughs> Foul ball. Home run! There you go. Nice. Buffalo's jersey. I like that one. That one looks, that one looks pretty cool. I wonder if these um, these baseball teams are based off like real life baseball teams or not. I don't know. Home run! I know there's a lot of baseball teams that are named after animals. Wing sign. That's pretty much all I know. Uh, <laughs> baseball is more of an American thing to be honest. I don't think it's uh, that big of a deal here in this country. Anyway, uh, foul ball. Home run! I wonder what the most popular sport in the world is. Probably, probably uh, football. Oh, we can have the buffalo wall. That looks really cool. I might just keep doing this until I win all the, all the stuff. What the hell? Strike! She's fast. Strike! Foul ball. <laughs> God's sake. This is, um... As you can see, I am a pro baseball player. Strike! Now, that's cheating. Stop being so quick. Strike! Home run, there we go. Sweet. Fizzo poster. We already know this is basically how it does in Wii Sports. A strike, 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 batter out. Home run. <laughs> like, they all say foul ball and they go foul ball. It sounds like the guy's getting slightly progressively angrier the more foul balls there are. How many, how many options of pitch are there? <laughs> Home run. 
medium wingery a table. I've played wingery in before. I played. I think I played all of them. Hey, it's the same person. Strike. It's the same person twice in a row. That must be incredibly rare. I just noticed that she's wearing a skirt too. You ready for this? Bah! There we go. Home run. Sweet. Star flooring. Ooh, very nice. I think I'll have to apply that. <laughs> Look at the guy's moustache. Foul ball. Foul ball. He looks like my guy's cousin or something. You're out. God damn it. <laughs> right, let's try. We're just going to keep trying until I get all the prizes. Are you ready, are you ready for this? Uh, are you ready for this shit? Home run. Okay, anyway. Sorry. Raincoat. Keep yourself dry in this rubber raincoat. What if I don't want to? <laughs> Bap. Foul ball. Okay. Right. Eh. Uh, okay, no, no, this is definitely the one, right? Yeah. No, uh, damn it. <laughs> no, I mean, um, no, I meant to do that. You see, there's definitely a strategy. This is definitely the one. Foul ball. No, I mean the next hit. The, ne the next swing's definitely going to be the one. D I meant the next string. I, I meant the next swing. Damn it. <laughs> Best baseball player in the galaxy. All right. For some, I don't know why, but I want to see a professional baseball player play Wii Sports Baseball. Foul ball! God damn it. I remember I got really confused when we were playing rounders in uh, in PE, because it was nothing like the game. Play. Bam. Strike. Home run. There we go, finally. Large wing of rear table. I think, we, I think you get the uh, prize in a random order. I feel like you definitely do. Okay, but home run. For some reason, I'm more interested in these mini in these mini games now. Hot dog helmet, hot diggity. God damn it, <laughs> hot diggity dog. <laughs> but home run. There we go. Home run. It's out of the park. Street lamp. What? <laughs> what if? What happens if I get a home run now? Here. <laughs> God damn it. Okay, you ready for this? <laughs> damn it. Are you ready for this shit? Let's go. Ready? Bam. Home run. There we go. Sweet. Fizzo poster. We we just get duplicates. God damn it! Why would you do this to me? I can't believe I can't believe you've done this. Okay, so um, wallpaper. Put that up. Ooh, ooh, that looks really good. I like that. Okay, and then star flow. Ooh, yes, yeah. There we go. That's better. Wait. Oh, oh, ooh. yes. Oh, I will do that. Are they, are those basically the same color? God damn it. Guys, why would you... Hmm. Okay, I'll leave it as yellow for now. Actually, no, I'll tell you what, I'll change it. It doesn't look good. I like yellow a lot, but like, it doesn't look right. Oh god. Um, no, that's staying as black too. Okay, uh, freshness. What the hell do you mean, freshness? Don't you dare. Uh, but let's put the buffalo's poster up. There we go. And I'll put the fizzer one up as well, because why not? Let's see, furniture. We're gonna we're gonna put a street lamp in here because you know reasons. I don't know why you would do that. What do you mean match? Okay, put that there. I put the wing sign. Does that go? In the, no, it goes here. Okay, small wing area table. There you go. Definitely want one of them. Uh, large wing area table. I get the sneaking suspicion that we're not gonna be able to fit everything in this uh, <laughs> in this place. Clothes. Right. Let's get our new ones. All right. There we go. We're defecting. <laughs> okay, we've got a ra <laughs> What do you wear a raincoat uh, like in the thing? Oh, that looks cool. That looks really dumb. <laughs> I like it though. Um, what do you mean visit shop? Oh, cool. I forgot about this, honestly. We've got, we've got buy everything. <laughs> there we go, sweet. Okay, moving on. Alright then, on to the next uh, day. Well, we haven't got that much progress done today, but I enjoyed playing the minigame, so it's all good. Alright then. <laughs> Look at the one in the bottom left. Is that a lumberjack like right next to her? There's somebody with like really long hair to the right. Wow, this place looks really cluttered. Look at all the peanuts in the barrel. All right, big Polly. Oh, cool. It's a different colour in the uh, in the cutscene too. You can call that cutscene. I don't know. It's up to you. Uh, what else is there to say? Um, let me try and think of just random school members in general. I remember there was this one, there was this one girl who uh, I met twice. So basically, um, I went to like I moved schools in year two I believe and this girl I met in year two as well and um, like we were like super good friends and stuff eventually she moved schools right and then eventually um, we went to secondary school right and um, 
like one day in year seven, we were told, oh, we're going to get a new kid in the class. And it was like, right, sure, whatever, right? And then uh, when everybody left, I thought I'd get a sneak at the timetable to see if I knew who it was, and it was her. And I was like, wait a second, what, really? Cool. <laughs> so then, like, she came in, the uh, I think it was like the next day, or maybe like a few days later, maybe the next week or something. And um, like, she must have recognized me because she looked at me and she was like, she pulled one of those, oh my God faces and just kind of pulled over to me. And everybody was like, it's like, it's like, he was like, take a seat. Everybody was really angry because she wasn't sitting next to them. Because um, most of them in my class are also ones from the same primary school that I went to. And they were like super angry about the fact that she wasn't sitting next to them. She came and sat next to me and uh, we had like this really jokey conversation about if we know each other. <laughs> and um, we got on again. It was just brilliantly, even better than last time, maybe. She actually hated the uh, the other guy who was on my uh, who's on the table with me because I actually had like one friend in form before she came in, before she came into my farm, and it was like it was, it was really funny because she used to like chase him around and stuff. She didn't like him at all, but she used to tease him all the time. And unfortunately, she had to leave schools again, and I haven't met her since. I randomly remember I randomly remembered her um, in year eleven for some reason. I'm happy I did though because it was she was really cool. Anyway, real quick, there's also um, another one for a very similar scenario. In year seven, I used to go to uh, I used to go to a youth club, and uh, this was before I man before I started playing Pokemon. Like I'd actually uh, watched like this this, v this video like a VHS tape of uh, all Pokemon episodes because apparently we had that one of those, and uh, I was like I was loving it, and I was like oh I want to play a game, and I didn't get to until uh, this happened. And um, the girl there had like all the Pokemon games, so I just used to hang out with her all the time. Like she was the only one I would hang out with because we would just play Pokemon and stuff. There was this one time uh, she was playing Sonic Rush Adventure. Yeah, cool coincidence because I had that game too. She was having trouble on Sky Babylon Zone, and uh, I had recently beaten the game. Like I'd recently beaten the big swell, so I was like, yeah, I'll do it. For some reason, on that specific night, I suddenly lost all ability to play the game. Typical, right? Like it's really annoying. And now, right? Now, whenever I play Sky Babylon, I tend to win all the time. How annoying is that? Like, that is, like, the most aggravating thing ever. Right here, you can have your uh, totally not frozen hot dogs. I, pro I promise they're not frozen at all. Um, I know there was a guy who heard me talking, that Chuck guy, but he don't listen to him. He's a liar. He's a liar! <laughs> he lies. He never tells the truth. Ever. He's a dirty liar. Hey, anyway, Professor Fitz here. I wonder if he's related to um, Professor Frink or Professor um, Egad or Professor Crackpot from uh, Grab from uh, he's from Grab by the Ghoul, is that Crackpot guy? Yeah, but, yeah. The only reason I I assume that they're um, that they're related is because they're all professors, right? All professors are related totally, one hundred percent. You know, <laughs> wouldn't it be funny if there was like an actual scientist who just came on here was like, yes, I can confirm. <laughs> but anyway, um, six. Don't you mean seven? <laughs> the number seven keeps popping up. It always has. Like, ever since secondary school, me and Mikey have always noticed, like, a, a common occurrence that the number seven is always the number that shows up all the time. I have no idea why. It's always the seven. It's, number seven is always there. It's always number seven. It's never any other number. For some reason. Or it'd be, like, something along those lines. I remember, um, he actually noticed, like, a, an Illuminati symbol, like, drawn on the wall for some reason. And he did his own rendition of the X-Files theme, which goes... Dun -dun 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 -dun. <laughs> I don't know. Like, he had his own rendition of it. Remember there was this one time where uh, I used to do, like, a Bear Grylls voice. I used to do this all the time. And people used to think it was funny for some reason. But, uh, yeah. So, basically, um, there was this one time where, like... I don't remember who it was, but, like... Like, the, the entire group was just hanging out on this bench. Like, you know those benches that you used to use in PE? I used to sit on in year six as one of them. I don't know why in a second just got one of them. But somebody, like somebody in the group farted and I just went, uh, I'd better leave the area. And for some reason, that's like a commonly remembered thing. And there was also this one time where um, Mikey did like his own parody of it. Because one, one of our friends was handing out cookies to us for no reason. And he went, uh, I think this cookie's moldy. <laughs> I don't know. It's like, I used to do it all the time in drama. I remember there was this one time where I was acting out a uh, GTA San Andreas cutscene. But, like, you're not allowed to swear or anything. So, obviously, I, I substituted the swear word for, like, homie and stuff like that. And, obviously, um, if there was that one word, obviously, you know which one I mean. I would always switch that, I would always switch that one out for homie as well. But, anyway, I believe it was the, um... The drive through cutscenes, yeah, I, I obviously substituted the N-word for, like, the word homie or whatever. I don't remember which one it was. I definitely substituted it, obviously. I, would, I wouldn't do that. But anyway, uh, basically, uh, what happened was um, I got to that point, like, you know where Ryder goes, Man, I want no chicken. And for some reason, all the girls in the class thought it was hilarious. I, d I honestly didn't think it was all that funny. 
but they thought it was funny for some reason, I don't know why. There was also, um, I used to do my own rendition of the troll face, and people used to think that was funny for some reason. I don't know why. Like, troll face is literally, like, one of the oldest memes ever. It's gotta be. <laughs> it's, always, it's always funny to see it every now and again pop up, so what the hell is this? Bertha, I bet you're not actually a real referee, are you? You're actually secretly working for the FBI. I know you are! <laughs> Just get a text message, Dad, why is the FBI here? And it's like, they arrest me because I know what their secret about Bertha. Guys, by the way, Metapod exists! Um, yes, yeah, so, uh, basically I spent ten years in prison for telling everybody that Metapod exists. <laughs> Do you remember that? It was like, does Caterpie evolve into Butterfree? No, it evolves into Metapod first. Wrong! <laughs> and I spent the entire episode making jokes about how Metapod is actually a non-existent creature. And there was like a guy holding a Metapod, like, what is this? What is this? <laughs> but yeah, we can't, it would be kind of funny if, like, somebody took it seriously. Okay, you have one star, except you have a star customer, so technically you have six stars, technically. She has six stars, guys, the army are going to come after her. <laughs> San Andreas, six stars. Okay, red. Okay, this, uh, that's not tomato sauce, it's the blood of my enemies. Uh, I mean, it's tomato sauce. This, uh, yellow sauce is not mustard, it's something else. And this brown sauce is not... I, I don't know what it is, to be honest. I think it was, I think it was supposed to be, like, the, um... The, the, um, baseball's own mayonnaise. Not mayonnaise, uh, mustard or whatever. It's like, why do you need mustard? You've already got mustard here. Like, I don't know, make me... <laughs> Maybe it's like those uh, those extra brands, like you know how supermarkets have their own brands of stuff, kind of like that. Maybe it's like that, I don't know. I don't know. It's like every supermarket always has their own brand. Like say for example you've got like Cocoa Pops or whatever and every single supermarket has their own brand of, has their like own brand of it. I don't know if that's the case in America as well or not, but it probably is. So uh, cubes of onions cannot be good. Like I, I can't imagine that. That probably would not be, I don't know. It's probably a lot more common than I think it is. What is this stuff? Like I didn't see what it was when I locked it. Like what is that? So it, look, it looks like sweet corn mixed in with bits. I have no idea. I'm just going to make the leaning tower of hot dog. Here you go. I have all of the sauce. Um, we don't. We totally did not murder our uh, co our um, co worker back here. And uh, <laughs> you know, obviously we didn't. Don't take it seriously. I'm joking. You know, so I have to say that because you know it's 2018 and people are going to take everything seriously. But anyway, um, real quick, I'm just going to put this on. I don't remember what most of these things are. Like, the green stuff was cabbage. This is literally cabbage, but recolored. So it's like the cabbage from um, Taco Mia, but it's like a different color. Look at the lag. <laughs> oh, nice and lag. <laughs> look, <laughs> look at the lag. It's great. I love how it, I love how it stacks. It stacks so weirdly. Like, what is this? Like, what, what even are these physics? I have no idea. They, they just stack. It stacks really weirdly. Like, sometimes it goes down, sometimes it doesn't. Uh, and then, then this just falls through everything, it phases through everything. I have no idea how that works, but fair enough. Anyway, um, how about I make up my own silly law on the spot real quick for the end. Um, it's illegal to get a BAM shock dodge with a boo on Wednesday on Mario Kart DS. I don't know. I have no ideas. <laughs> okay, anyway. Um, I have no ideas other than, than to make fake references to YouTubers that people may or may not know. Okay, anyway. Pineapple Pro, what a job title. I have been promoted to calorie cutter. I don't like that. I'd rather be a pineapple pro, thanks. Suddenly, pineapples. Cool shot. Oh, it's this one. Uh, are you ready? Are you ready for this? Hit 10 buddies. Yeah. Yeah. Damn it. Damn it. Bananas in pajamas. Bombs. And the worst shot ever. God damn it. Planter box. Oh, I actually hit. I hit enough. Okay. So let's just play this until I've unlocked all the prizes. There's not that many left. Bam, bam, bam. Yeah, yeah. This is better than any shooting game, guaranteed, right? In before somebody gets really mad and is like, No, you're wrong, we! Freezer rear wall. Oh, cool. Just like Petty and Alberto's uniforms. Nice and references to previous games. What are we even shooting? It's like blueberry sauce or something. All these bombs. Bananas and pajamas! Okay, he got away. What happened to the other racer? He got away. <laughs> You're telling me that the most wanted racer happened to get away. What about the blacklist? Forget about the blacklist. They're through. <laughs> and then uh, Sergeant Cross is like, I want every single unit after the guy. Everyone? Everyone! I wonder if anybody knows where that comes from. Okay, I hit enough. This is actually kind of fun. 
MD three is a rear table. Yow, there's an anchor on the table. <laughs> Captain Blackbread has been here before. So, uh, the story behind Blackbread, um, at primary school, there was like this, um, like in the ICT room, there was this display about pirates. <laughs> somebody had like, somebody had misspelled Blackbeard as Blackbread. <laughs> the teacher had circled it. I don't know why. I find that so funny. Blackbread, scariest pirate 2018. Okay, but, 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 shoot everything. J just rapid fire everything. That's the best way to do it. That is how you win on every shooting game ever. Shoot 20 flying peanut buddies in cool shot. They're really called that. I want to know what the banana ones are called. Probably just banana buddies or something. Because, you know, bananas in pajamas is copyrighted. Shoot them all. And then we've got, like, cookie snowmen and angry bombs. Angry. Right, take this. There we go. Cool, we got it. I like how we always manage to get exactly the right the right amount. We got a surfboard. Yo, man, we like totally got a radical surfboard, dude. It's like super radical and stuff. Yeah, you know, you know, radical, 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 man, radical. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> it's over exaggerated. But all these, all the bombs all over the place reminds me of Starlight Zone. Swirl floor, a green swirly floor. Wow, really? <laughs> I couldn't have put it better myself. Just gonna paint the other. We're gonna paint the wall. Hit 22 baddies. Wait, really? God damn no! <laughs> I'm missing everybody. It's gonna get like much harder, isn't it? Bam. Damn it! <laughs> we missed it by one. I won two dollars. I mean, I can use that to get like something from the shop or something. I don't know. Anyway, hit 22 baddies. Is this just going to be the same thing every single time? Eventually I'll learn the pattern, so it'll be a lot easier to hit them all. Well, not, not all of them, but most of them. God damn it. You're not supposed to escape. There we go, we hit 22. We hit almost all of them, we missed two of them. Okay, there's two more left. Large freezer rear table. Is that like... Is that whipped cream? It reminds me of that time on uh, The Simpsons where Ken Brockman was like, if it feels good, do it, and he got like two... He took... He got like two um, whipped cream cans and ate from the can. Both of them. Here. Wow, really? Wouldn't it be funny if somebody started arguing that Cool Shot is better than like Fortnite and stuff? I have no opinion because I don't play those games. But it's funny to see people argue over it. Honestly, I see it all the time. And I'm just laughing at them. It's like over. It's like those over exaggerated wrestling comments you see. Like um, you go on like Twitter or whatever. And you look on somebody's, um, you look on like a wrestler's profile that posts, a fez, <laughs> fezes are cool, <laughs> the 11th doctor was here, but yeah, it's like somebody, you go to like somebody's, uh, like some wrestler page or whatever, and they post anything, and someone's like, you are a coward, and <laughs> it's like, uh, it's usually like, it's usually on like, uh, the page of anybody, like The Miz or Samoa Joe or whatever, and there's somebody being like, Roman Reigns is strong than you, and it's like terrible grammar, and there's like really exaggerated and stuff. All right then, so what have I got in the inventory? Did I just accidentally open paint? I think I did. Um, we have a surfboard. I've got a two to radical. You've got to put that there. That's gone. That's not going to be in the way at all. I promise. Uh, medium freezer rear table. Oh, I like how it's all it's all in the way. I can't wait to see how they get past this. They're just going to walk it. Like, this is it's the biggest mess I've ever made. Look at this trash. <laughs> Trash! Alright, posters. We're going to put the batters poster here. Uh, let's see, are uh, you going batty? Totally not a terrible joke. That looks awful. Re-put that right there. Flooring. Swirl floor. Oh god. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> what does it look like with this? <laughs> it's a fashion disaster, isn't it? I don't like it. I don't like it one bit. Okay, that'll do. Okay, clothes. We've got uh, new ones, apparently. I don't see them anywhere. Uh, we've got a new jacket. It's the same jacket, but it's a different colour. For God's sake, guys. This one's slightly different. It makes it a different jacket, right? It just looks so weird on top. Okay, that's a weird looking one. Um, okay, that's pretty cool. That ain't Falco. I'm going to put the fez on. He's not wearing it properly. Or maybe he is, I don't know. Um, visit a shop. Let's buy some stuff. Ka-ching, ka-ching. I already own them, damn it. Why do I do this to myself? Buy any... whatever. Alright, I'm gonna get the blue bandana. I'm gonna get a ranger hat. I'm totally a legit cop, guys, I promise. Orange cop. Now you're prepared to be a food critic too. No, more like you're ready to suck up to Jojo. 
<laughs> Put that on backwards. Nice. Um, where's the other one I got? There's the bandana, there's the ranger hat. I'm going to put that on. Guys, I'm, t I'm a totally real cop, I promise. Um, okay, inventory. Uh, we've already got a bookshelf, haven't we? No, we haven't. The <laughs> it doesn't fit anywhere. Why is there a pizza? That's so weird. What the hell? All right, we're going we're gonna to put that away. All right, we're going to put this bookcase. It's so in the way. Nobody could ever fit through here. I can't wait to see how they go. They're going to walk through it. I know they are. Okay, anyway. So uh, that'll be the end of this one. I'm going to quit real quick. Just uh, have to wait for it to load before I can. It's Wally. He's a Wally for not liking the hot dogs. Mayo. We got mayonnaise at long last. Fair enough. As we open the thing. The person on the far left cannot see. Is that Batgirl? Maybe. There's, there's the one who's like totally not creepy or anything. Quit. Yes, I know. I get it. Okay, and uh, it's been 40 minutes. Longest episode ever. And next time we'll be doing... Um, you know, hot dog stuff. Not illegal in any way, I promise. I'm totally not frozen. Come to Papa's Hot Dog Arena now and enjoy your frozen, totally not raw hot dogs.